In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually edit a page on your website. So I'm going to click here in the left corner to my home page and start there. So again, to get to the point where I'm at, I would have gone to sites.google.com. I would have logged in with my uh, WCPS username and password, and I would have chosen the website that I wanted to work on from my list of websites. Anytime that you're on a page, you'll see the pencil up here in the top. It's called, it's the edit page pencil. If you click on that, it's going to bring up a toolbar very much like um, one that you would see in, <clears throat> excuse me, Google Docs or any of the other Google platforms. So at this point, you have tons of different options to get started. The thing that I like to try to think about first is my layout. What's this web page going to be like? Do I want to have one column? Do I want to have two columns, three columns? Do I want to have it with a uh, left sidebar? I can have left and right sidebars. So there's lots of different layout options. I'm just going to choose, choose a simple two column one for this. So you'll notice that now it gives me these dotted lines. Now whenever you actually bring up your website, those lines are not going to show. It's just showing you where your columns are so that you have a better idea. Um, at this point, I can start adding any content to my site that I would like. So this site is a sample for the whoops, Google Tutorials. Okay, now at this point, I can highlight this text. I can change the size. I can change the um, font. Whoops, I can change the font here. I can center it. I can put it to the, the right. Um, I could use a bulleted list, a numbered list. I could hyperlink. So if I wanted to um, insert the link to another page here, let's say I wanted to use this Google's um, help page, <clears throat> click web address. I'm going to paste in the address, open this link in a new window, and then press OK. So now anytime anyone clicks on this text, it will take them to that um, website. Um, I can change the font color. I can change the background color. This is very, very similar to, again, something that you would see in Microsoft Word or any of the other Google platforms. Let's say on this side I wanted to add a picture. So I have a ton of different things that I can choose from as far as inserting. I can insert an image. <clears throat> Excuse me, I could insert a link. I could insert a table of contents, a line. I can insert something all the, from all of these different Google um, platforms. So I could go to my Google Drive and insert one of the, these um, documents. I could insert a photo from my Google Plus. Okay, I could add a group. I could add something from a Hangout so that I could actually put a button on there um, so that people, um, I've never done that before, but so that people can, can contact me through Google Hangout in that way. Okay, I'm going to try just simply adding an image. So um, here I just need to upload the image. <clears throat> and let's see, what do I have? Creativity definition quote. That looks good to me. Open. And I'm going to press OK. And then here's my image. Now again with my image, I can center it. I can make it small, medium, or large. I can change the size of it. I can uh, make it to the left. I can actually add a hyperlink to it as well. Okay. Again, this is very, very much like the typical um, Google uh, menu bar that you're used to seeing. Um, there are things under format. You can strike through text. You can change the heading. Um, so it's kind of like the formatting of the text. Um, you can insert a table different amounts of rows. Um, you can change the layout again like I showed you. Up next, I'm going to show you how to edit your site settings and how to control who has access to your site.